Hello, everybody. This is Ian Lamont, author of Lean Media, and today I'm going to be talking about Amazon stores and how to edit a page on your Amazon store. So this is my Amazon store, one of my Amazon stores for one of the brands that I own and operate. And you can see it looks pretty nice. I have some stock photography up here. This is my home page. I also have a few sub pages, top rated, large print, and genealogy for kids. And if you've used Amazon stores before, first of all, you, you know that you can have more than one page. Some people only do the home page, but I think it's useful to have other pages too, uh, to let people know who might be interested in some special item, special sub area of the products that you offer, or what I've seen sometimes uh, other store owners use is they'll have like, you know, holiday ideas when it's, when it's the busy time of year and people are looking for gift ideas. Any case, I have this page called Top Rated. This is what it looks like right now. And I wanna change things around a little bit. See if I can do something a little bit differently to maybe increase traffic or increase sales of a certain item. So I'm going to edit this page, and this is how you do it. First, you need to go to Amazon Seller Central, and then at the top, I'm assuming, by the way, that you, first of all, you have a pro account, a pro seller account, and then second of all, in order to have an Amazon store, you need to have a registered trademark in the principal registry and Amazon brand services has to know about it. I'm not gonna get into how that's that all goes down, but I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you have a store and you're ready to edit some of it. So go to stores, manage stores. This page will come up. Here are my brands. Uh, I wanna edit Easy Genie. So it takes me right there. And this looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? This is exactly what we were just looking at, but this is an editing view. So right now, I'm looking at the home page, but I can also switch to top rated. So this is the way the top rated page is set up. And then I, or I could go to large print. You can see I set that up a little bit differently. Genealogy for kids. So one thing you can do right away, if you want to, is you can rearrange the pages. So the home page is the main one, then comes top rated which is here, then large print, then genealogy for kids. What if I wanna put large print first before top rated? That's easy. Where it says large print on the left side, kind of grab that, those dots right there next to the left of the uh, name. That will let you hold it, and then you can just drag it up. So now, large print is first, and top rated is second, genealogy for kids is third after the homepage. Let's take a look and see if that has changed. So right now it's, Home, top rated, large print. Let's see if large print is now in the second spot. So I'm reloading it. It looks like it hasn't gone through yet. Or maybe, oh, I know why. I have to submit for publishing. So actually, uh, this is in the upper right corner. Actually, it's gonna take a little bit because I think they're going to review it. So I just made that one change. When I do all the other changes, then we'll be able to submit everything for publishing. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to change top rated a little bit. So here, is the way the page is laid out right now. So the header is, is the first thing. And this header, by the way, is the same for all of my pages on the site. Then there's a product grid. So if you click it, it'll show you the products that are showing up there. And I actually specifically chose them in this order to appear there. So I wanted this, this uh, Easy Genie Kids Kit to show up in the top left corner. And then I wanted to have this fan chart show up on the right. So one thing you can do right away if you want to, to, to remove things, just click on the, uh, just select that this section of it. Actually, let's go back again. All right, so this is the product grid. I wanna edit that. So I click it to change it. And then if I wanna remove something, all I have to do is just click the name. Uh, click the X next to it. So blank two-sided family group sheets for genealogists. I'm just going to click the X and that's gone. So you can see the orange one just disappeared and the space opened up there. And if I want to, I can leave that space blank or I can fill it up. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to search for something else to put there. So it used to be the one of the product that was orange. And I just searched for the brand name. Here are all the products that I have. Um, it'll show, if, it, if I already have it on that in the grid, it'll say added. So the blue one, you can see it's added already. The orange one, that's the one I just removed. I don't want to put that there. But what if I want to put the uh, large print four generation pedigree charts? I can just add that. 
So that just added to the to the eighth spot there. Okay. Right. So that's done. I'm going to click done on that. So I just changed that. Now, below that, there's text. And this is this, so when I first set this up, I thought text was a good idea. So I just I just said something like how much do customers love our products? You know, um, judging by repeat customers, they love it, they like it a lot. And then I linked it to the top selling product that I have. So if you click shop now, it goes right there. So one thing I can do right away if I wanted to is I can just remove the link. And then I could create another link. Let's 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 have it go to something else. So I just type Easy Genie. That's my brand. I'm searching for a product. Okay. So if I want to, I can have it go to the let's see here. Go to the pink one. So if people click that link, they'll go to the pink the uh, the, the product with the pink packaging. Okay. But what if I just want to get rid of that thing altogether? So one thing I can do, I like I don't like this text is too big. I can just click the settings icon and click delete. So I just deleted it. Now it only has the grid there, but I, don't, I want more than that. So I'm going to add a new section. And if you add a new section in your Amazon store, you'll get lots of different options to put on there. So I could put a video. I could put an image. I could put a product or something else. So maybe actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put um, best-selling products. Let's add that. Best sellers from Easy Genie. This is automatically generated to update your best-selling products. That's great because that means I don't need to do anything. Okay. Let's add another section below that. What if I want to add uh, an image? Okay. So first thing is upload an image. Image must be at least 3,000 by 1,500 pixels. So I can do two things. I can choose from my asset library. So these are the images that I already have. I've uploaded these before. Let's say I'd like to, I'd like to add this one right here. I can see the, the, um, the size is correct, 3,000 by 2,000 pixels. So I'm going to use that one. Okay, it shows grandma and her granddaughter looking at an old photo album. And this kind of fits in with what I'm doing. Title. So I'm going to write connecting generation. Add a link. Actually, I'm going to change the title a little bit and put an exclamation point. Add a link. Well, this is easy because I have lots of products that are really made for connecting generations. That's basically what, what this brand is all about. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the, uh, my best-selling product there. Okay. So I have my new picture. I have some tags there. Tags, by the way, they're optional. Um, th they sometimes make finding stuff easier later on. I have the title, Connecting Generations. Maybe I'm going to change it a little bit more with, whoops, genealogy. Okay. And then a product, a product uh, detail that goes to this best-selling product. That's great. Once I'm done, I'm finished. There's, you'll see there's no save button or anything, but at the top, it says done. Okay. So I've just made some big changes to my, to this particular page on my store. Um, this is the top rated page. So first thing I did is I moved it to the second position. No, sorry, to the third position. Second thing is I got rid of one of the items that used to be here. It used to be an orange product, a package with orange, uh, a product with orange packaging. I got rid of that and I replaced, I put another one down here. And then I added this little best sellers from Easy Genie. This is automatically generated. And then I added this picture and some text connecting generations with genealogists and then a link to one of my best selling products. And I'm, I'm all set to go. Uh, the only thing I'd like to add about what I've just done here is that all of these products, they're already associated with my brand, Easy Genie. So I can select from them right away. And the second thing is, is that I'm using stock photography. This is photography that I license from a source. I don't just grab it from the internet and put it on Amazon. I actually pay money for this. And I advise anybody who's serious about selling stuff on Amazon, either you get a professional photographer to shoot your own photos, or you pay 
money to, to license uh, stock photography. Fortunately, stock photography is pretty cheap these days, and you can get some really good images for even less than, than $10. And um, so I recommend that you look into services that offer that. Um, Deposit Photos is one of them. Shutterstock is another one. iStock Photo. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Okay, so once you're done with all your edits, you click this, Submit for Publishing. Your store will be submitted for approval by reviewers. Please verify your store for both desktop and mobile preview for image cropping, test trun truncation, spelling, and other visual issues which may delay moderation. I'm gonna call out something here that's pretty important. A lot of times, because people do their editing for their Amazon store on a desktop browser, like on a laptop computer or a desktop computer, or a PC or a Mac or whatever, they're only really thinking about what it looks, what Amazon looks like when you're browsing on a desktop computer. This is what Amazon looks like when I'm browsing on amazon.com um, using Firefox. The thing is, many people these days, they never see this page on a desktop computer. They're using the mobile version. They're using the Amazon app or even the amazon.com on a tiny mobile phone or a, an iPad or an Android tablet or something like that. It looks a lot different. So this advice here, preview your store, check out what it looks like, definitely, definitely do that. In fact, let's cancel and take a look and see what it does. So you actually don't even have to, um, you know, publish the site and then look at it. You can just use the preview tool. It's right at the top here. So let's take a look at the mobile. This is what it looks like on mobile. This seems kind of suspicious to me because I don't think that quite looks like what it's going to look like on a mobile device. <clears throat> well, let me see if I can get back here. All right, so that, that's what it's claiming the, um, that's all they want to do. All right, so there's a desktop preview. Let's look at the mobile preview. Okay, here we go. Here's the mobile preview. So if, if you looked at it on a mobile browser, this is what it would look like. The app will actually look different, but you can see that things, things, the scale is a bit different. So on the desktop version, you know, you have four items crawling across the page. On the mobile version, it's only two because it's a much narrower screen. In any case, I think you get the idea for that. Let's submit this for publishing. Press the Submit for Publishing button. And then it will take up to 72 hours and your store will be live on Amazon after approval. It says 72 hours, but I found that typically it's actually less than that. Um, of course, if it's during the holiday season, it's gonna, it might be a long time, but on most times of the year, it's, it's pretty quick. Click Submit. Okay. Up in the top here, it'll say Moderation Status in Review. Draft submitted a few seconds ago. So our job is done here. You can go back to Amazon Seller Central and do what you need to do, but that's an overview of how to, how to uh, edit a page on your Amazon store. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon, out of your media products, uh, I've written a book about creating media called Lean Media. Also, if you go to the website, leanmedia.org, click on blog. I have tons of blog posts about Amazon, other services. Um, for instance, what's the Amazon FBM royalty for books? And then I have the video channel. So click on video and then click on YouTube channel, the Lean Media YouTube channel. And then you can see all the other videos I have about uh, tracking sales on Amazon, how to create certain types of Amazon advertisements, etc. Thank you so much for watching.